Hi everyone, this is Rena. Welcome to the Mama Elephant November 15th release. Remember, this release is Mama Elephant's last release for 2022. They will be back with more products and inspiration in January. Please make sure to leave a comment for a chance to win a prize from Mama Elephant. And today we are kicking off with Red Envelope. Red Envelope will pair nicely with yesterday's stamp set, Lunar Bunnies, which I'll be using today as well. It'll also pair up with past Mama Elephant Lunar New Year stamp sets. I wanted to call out some of the imagery. Um, that sort of middle image, it kind of looks like a boat, the three little boats. Those are gold ingots. I colored it in like kind of a harvest yellow color. And the little fruits, um, they're like an orange color. And that symbol at the bottom middle means, I know Chrissy told me what it meant, it means luck or fortune. Here's a look at the coordinating dies for red envelope. And the florals in the image, it will cut out six of the florals in one pass, which is great. And here is a circle lattice. It cuts out a very ornate design on your die cut and it has a nice scallop detail on the edges. I'll be coloring in these images two different ways. I'm going to color it first with Copic markers and then I'm going to color another set um, doing gold embossing. I kind of like that gold outline look on a red paper. So we'll do that in a bit. I've just been using the same Copic marker colors I've been using in the previous two videos, but I'll put those colors down below in the description box. Here I'm using like an easy red. Um, it I don't think it has as much pigment as the other reds, but it's just like an easy going red. It's not as dark as like an R46 or an R27, but it still, um, it still does <laughs> the job of a red color. I'm coloring in these fruits in a light orange color that would be R Y R 00 Y R 01 um and I will be coloring in those gold ingots using Y R 21 and Y R 31 that's kind of like a um it was like the closest I could get to gold um without um, using like a bright yellow. I didn't want to use a bright yellow. Here's what the images look like all cut out and you all know I love this part. We're going to do some gold um, heat embossing and since we're doing this on red paper any kind of strays of embossing powder will show. So you'll want to prep your paper using a powder tool, a powder bag. Um, that's really critical. Um, so I'm selecting the images that I want to use. It's a mixture of red envelope and lunar bunnies. And I'll be stamping that out using Versamark ink. And this whole embossing thing was so fun to do. Um, I rarely do it because it just, I don't know why I don't. I think it's just, I, I feel like in my mind it's hard, but when you actually do it in real life, it's really not that hard. <laughs> um, I'm going to be using some gold embossing powder. This is from Michaels. I've had this bottle for a while, so I was just hoping that it would uh, work and it totally worked just fine. Um, 
and you'll want to flick off any strays but if you've put your powder tool on it it you shouldn't have that many strays so you'll want to preheat your heat gun um, so when you take it to the paper it will immediately melt the embossing powder with some paper I noticed if you keep the heat tool on it for too long and it's colored cardstock sometimes it fades the paper so I just like to just preheat my heat tool so the heat isn't heating the paper for a very long time so here's what they look like all cut out and I just really loved looking at this I just it came out better than I had anticipated so here's a look at Circle Lattice. It's a very detailed um, die cut that you can use for your backgrounds and it has a very beautiful uh, kind of pattern um, that it embosses into the paper. I really loved it. Um, so I'm just prepping my different pieces that we're gonna use. This is um, a red envelope die from Mama Elephant. I like using this one because it's one piece. Um, I'm just folding it together. Um, and putting it together so you'll want to put the glue on the outside of the flaps um, and then press the front of the envelope down I don't know why I didn't take the glue all the way up I think in my mind I was thinking about a different die but you want to put the glue on the entirety of that flap I went back later to put glue on on the part that I didn't put glue on um, but this was really fun. So I created four of these envelopes and I'm just burnishing everything, making sure it's good. I couldn't find my scoreboard for some reason, so <laughs> I'm doing it by hand. Um, it also, the die set also comes with this really great uh, matte um, scalloped edge and it has some stitching detail. So I'm taking all the images that we colored, including some lunar bunnies that I colored off camera um, to decorate the fronts of these mats, which will go on the front of the uh, red envelope. So this was really fun. I love decorating kind of like a smaller, um, smaller space. Um, it just is so easy and you don't have to use a ton of images. Um, you just have to use a couple and then add a sentiment and it's perfect. After I adhere all the images, I'll be stamping out the sentiment. I'll read you the sentiments from the red envelope set. Uh, greetings, wishes, and blessings for a happy new year. May the new year bring you good luck and good fortune. Happy Lunar New Year and wishing you success and happiness. I love all of those sentiments. I didn't look at the sizing of the sentiments. <laughs> so... I, I wasn't able to use every single different one, um, but I tried to use um, like at least one of each, but I wasn't able to fit one because it was a little bit longer than I had allowed on um, the front of the, the mat that I was using it on. Um, and I really like the lettering on this also. It looks really good. Next step, we're going to make a card using the circle lattice and also the gold embossed images. So I'm, and these are red envelopes, so I'm kind of putting it together and I will be using those as embellishments on front of the card. So I cut out the circle lattice twice and I just wanted to break up the color. So I colored one, I cut one in a lighter color um, just to just create some interest. And then I'll take those red envelopes and then I'll paste it as embellishment in front of this card. I didn't put a sentiment um, because I forgot. <laughs> I don't have a good reason for not putting a sentiment on here. Um, but I wanted to use every single one of uh, the images that I gold embossed. I wanted to see um, how it would look on the card. And then I'm also putting in those florals. And then I will be adhering this card panel in the same color as that lighter color scallop piece at the bottom. I didn't want to use white because it was too stark. Um, so this is kind of like a, a light uh, tan color. So now we'll put together our red envelopes. I just wanted the ink to dry before I adhered it. So we're just simply adhering them um, in front of the red envelopes. When you make the red envelopes, don't use your um, 
thicker colored cardstock, you want to use the thinnest um, cardstock uh, that you have um, just because you're making a lot of folds and then you're adding this mat on top. So you want to use like a lighter um, weight cardstock for the red part of the envelope. And that is it. I'm calling these Lunar New Year projects done. I had so much fun making them. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day. Stay safe, happy crafting, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.